Gen 1 Prius camshaft position sensor. It uh, gets oil pressure in it and it blows the connector off. So there's an oil leak through the camshaft position sensor. So we're going to go ahead and change it. You don't have to take your front tire off, but we're going to take it off just, just to show you how to unplug the sensor. It's, it's got a little spring-loaded It's got a little spring-loaded clip that you can unplug it. It's easier to see with the tire off. So basically you pull this down away from the thing and it unlocks it so you can unplug it. This one's actually getting oil pressure through the sensor. That's why there's oil on my finger and it forces this off. So it literally unplugs itself while you're driving. And we're going to put a new one on so it doesn't happen anymore. You got to unplug it in order to take the 10 millimeter bolt off. It has a little rubber o-ring in it, a seal. It's not leaking, but it's leaking actually through the connector. Where am I? You got it. Oh, there it is, Ryan. So before we put the new one in, we're gonna oil we're going to oil the o-ring on it. Just turn it. Goodness. or anything. So that means the o-ring's hanging on. Oh, you're gonna bend your screwdriver. Here's a new one. We're gonna put oil around that o-ring. So that it slides in easier and also seals up better so it doesn't break the o-ring. But here's the old one. It was apparently leaking. I mean, it's leaking through the connectors because there's oil right here. Hopefully the new one won't do that because this one kept unplugging itself. It still works. It works great, but... When it comes unplugged, it doesn't work at all. It scares the crap out of the wife. The wife goes, oh, there's the triangle of death again. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of piece of junk you driving me around really, in? Really, really bad. <laughs> Generally, it's not good. Women like to know that they can get somewhere when they get in a car, you know? And then, of course, make sure that the screw hole is up. Wiggle and push and wiggle and push. That O-ring popped right in there. I'm just gonna line up the screw hole. And drop the nut a couple bolt a couple times. Now there is a plastic shroud that goes right here in this area. I'll show you another Prius that we have that has the shroud on it. 
we got a bunch of them anyway there's a plastic shroud right there yeah we got a bunch of praises bunch of them there's a black one over there this one's probably been more places yeah this one's been to montana and wyoming in texas do you think you have to pull that retainer back first when it should clip on there but just try to pull it back a little bit while you're pushing it up with the other hand maybe or one-handed you don't want to break your wires I didn't really hear it click it definitely hasn't clicked yet but gonna unplug. Push that back or does it ever do anything? I don't know. It clicks once this goes back. We just haven't I don't know, see what happens. Pull it all the way back. Because we put electrical tape on that, didn't we, last time? We did, yeah. Hmm. This one just tighter because it's new. That's kind of ridiculous. That's not even on there yet. Okay, we found out it's easiest just to uh, plug it in before you tighten it, but then you can't tighten it with the socket. So watch what happens. It goes all the way back in here. You're cramming it against there and click. Bam. Okay. So... You want to make sure the wire is dressed back away from the tire. Make sure this is back away from the tire. You got to kind of get the nut going, I mean the bolt going first. So you want to pull it out a little bit so you can get the bolt started. now we can't use the socket but at least now we hope that it won't come off anymore like it has been because of the oil pressure going in there excellent